Welcome to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Bethlehem was founded by Moravian settlers in the early 1700s and was officially christened in 1741. Proud of a past rich in national historic relevance, from presidential stays to establishing itself in the forefront of the Industrial Revolution, Bethlehem is a city steeped in antiquity and terror. For instance, take the Bethlehem Club and its haunted third floor, a well-known tale of tragedy and horror that still echoes in the community, especially with the employees of the club. The club was founded in Bethlehem's historic district in 1909 as a social organization for male Bethlehem Steel executives. Consequently, the club gained a reputation for scandal and loose women. The club's third floor acted as a boarding house for many of the executive's mistresses, and it is here where a haunted story has its roots. Through the years, the horrific tale has spawned numerous variations, but the central theme of betrayal, pain, and death has remained steadfast, as employees of the club can attest to. My name is Matthew Reichert. Uh, I've been a cook here at the Bethlehem Club for five years. Some believe the husband dies. From my understanding, the third floor was a place where Bethlehem Steel executives would take their mistresses. And one night, uh, a Bethlehem Steel worker was up there with his mistress, and his wife uh, proceeded to catch them in the act. And in a rage, uh, she pushed him down, uh, over the railing, down four flights of stairs. My name is Amy, and I've worked here at the Bethlehem Club for two years. Others believe the wife herself meets her demise. There are different stories about what happened at the third floor, but the story that I heard was that a executive was upstairs on the third floor, which is the bedroom area of the club, and he was up there with a worker of the club, and the wife of the executive had found out, and she came here and to confront the two of them about this. She went up to the third floor, um, found the room that they were in, confronted the two of them. They ran out of the room, and as she was chasing them down the steps from the third floor, she fell down the first little flight of steps and died. Yet others embellish the tale with rumors of decapitations. Um, my name is Chrissy. I work at the Bethlehem Club, and I've been there for 10 years. From what I understand from secretaries that used to work for the men at the Bethlehem Steel, that they used to rent out the rooms upstairs as, I guess, rooms up there. And one of the husbands had a mistress up there, and he got called by his wife. She ended up finding out, decapitating the woman's head and it came rolling down the third floor steps. Regardless of who died, someone or something has remained and is very eager to make their presence known to the employees and members of the club. Also on the third floor, uh, one night when I was up there by myself, um, I heard a door slam in a hallway. And I went to check and there was nobody there. Personally, I've um, been sitting downstairs playing a game and from behind have had whistling come out of nowhere and to turn around and nobody's standing there. Once in a while you'll just stand around and feel like a big draft of wind come by you and there's no window or doors open. The Bethlehem Club, a place of history, a place of terror, just one of the many in the great city of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania.